A decade ago, a man opened his home to strangers on Thanksgiving, and that began a yearly tradition. Alexa Hellwood takes us to the Orphans Thanksgiving now. The table is set, the turkey is cut, and dinner is served. This might look like one big happy family eating a Thanksgiving meal, but most people in this room have never met. I probably would have been home by myself. Yeah, probably would have worked on my laptop and watched a bad movie and felt sorry for myself for being home. But Julie McGuire's Thanksgiving wasn't so lonely tonight, thanks to James Henline. Nearly a decade ago, he moved to the West Coast and didn't know anyone. While I was out there, we didn't have any family. And so I was looking online, you know, to see what was available. And I, I found a group of people who were holding their own Thanksgiving with a bunch of strangers. And I was like, hey, I'll come bring a turkey or something. Years later, he moved here and brought the idea of Orphan's Thanksgiving with him. Tonight, the party was a place for anyone who didn't have a place to celebrate the holiday. Some people are like, that's really awesome. Some people tell me I'm absolutely insane for inviting strangers into my home with my kids there. Over the years, the comfort of food and good conversation has created last friendships and James's dinner has one orphan coming back every year. He's actually become one of our best friends. He comes over every Friday night now for game night and we sit down and we have fun and enjoy his company. He's a great guy. And on this day of Thanksgiving, James's guests might not know everyone at the table, but tonight they're all family. I think it's really important that people have a place to go and feel like they belong during the holidays. It's hard for everybody to be alone. Um, well, it's hard for people to be with their families, too, sometimes. In Fort Thomas, Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News.